Hey everybody, it's Mr. Capcom for the Tech Messenger, uh, otherwise known as uh, Mobile Combat. I've recently changed our name. I uh, just want to do a quick review on the uh, Apex 1.40 ROM from Fabulous. And I kind of just wanted to show this to you guys to show you what was new. Um, one thing I can say is um, faster than ever. Um, as I do this review, there is a 1.41 out. But um, I am going to wait because uh, my phone is just real responsive. You can see that I'm running 80W Launcher EX. Um, uh, I did have to get a um, gingerbread theme to make this dock look like this. Uh, by stock, it comes with 80W Launcher standalone and you know works pretty good. Um, which, the one thing that I kind of like about this ROM is, of course, the speed. Um, I am not overclocked. I am still running at stock as far as I know. Um, I don't think he added anything in there. Um, but the main thing that I like about this new update um, is if you go to Terminal Emulator, type in SU, and uh, what was it? Um, A -D oh, Apex Tool. All right, so we have Apex Toolbox. Um, this is something new that he added, or at least updated in uh, version 4.0. Um, it has pretty much everything customizable in here that you want, so you can you know, say how much blur you want into it, because by default, he removes pretty much all the blur. But if you want to come in here, you can be like, okay, well, maybe I want to customize the apps. Uh, let's say I want to manage blur apps, actually. Put in three, hit enter, and then here it is. You can add 3G mobile hotspot, add your visual voicemail back, photo widgets, social status widgets. So if there's anything that you loved in your phone before you put Apex on, then and you want it back, you can just go through here, and it's easy as just putting the numbers in, and you'll get whatever it is that you want um, back in there. You can customize apps that's in here. Let's go ahead and go in there. Uh, we have the alarm clock application, browser. You can remove the browser if you want and customize it. Uh, let's go to the browser and see if it has any, what it has in there. So you have AOSP, Android uh, Source Project, web browser by default, or the Motorola browser. It says it has an annoying snap. So if you you know, you know like that an annoying snap, you can uh, go ahead and put that on there. But if not, then you don't have to worry about it. Um, we have Nexus Wallpapers. Um, one other, uh, well, I'll try to get to that later. Um, when you, let's see, let's say like the gallery application for, so we have the um, Android open source project gallery 3D. That's the one that's a 3D that bounces back and forth. Usually I would have used that, but a friend, a good friend of mine told me um, that uh, Marco told me that uh, the Motorola Blur Gallery runs a lot better if you use the um, if you use the Motorola one when you're using the camera, so if I go to the camera, let's see this real quick. All right, so here's the camera. I notice me personally. Let me just take a quick picture. Me personally, when I go in here and I say I go back on the 3D gallery, when you click on it, it takes like forever to work, load up, but Motorola gallery loads right up quickly. Pretty fast. Scrolls good. Let's go back. All right, and it's pretty quick and it works with the camera a lot better. Um, let's go ahead and go back to the Apex terminal. So you can go in here, um, you know, I advise that if you mess around with things that you're not really familiar with, that you do a backup and run the uh, bootstrapper just in case if it bricks your, not brick your phone, sorry. <laughs> if something happens to your phone as far as like it not booting or you move something that needs to be in there, um, you know, you can always go back. Um, one cool little thing I like is that um, Fabulous um, always keeps his, um, let's go toggle soft keyboard. Enter number three. He keeps his toolbox up up to date. And a real nice feature is that the actual uh, terminal emulator and his toolbox 
Um, I guess not really the toolbox, but there's a command to update the toolbox when there's new stuff that comes out. Let's see if we can get it to update. Um, and if you see right there, I'm on version 105. That's the newest one, at least when I went to the last, because before this version, it didn't have MD5 hash checking to make sure that the versions um, were correct. So, I mean, definitely have 1.5. Let's go ahead and uh, I think we type SU and then update TB for toolbox. And there it is. It says, uh, thanks for using Apex. Uh, the script will download the latest toolbox. Note, this will not check versions, so there may not always be an update. I personally follow Fabulous on um, on Twitter. I think his name's like Big uh, XIE something or whatever. Um, you can probably find him on the internet or whatever, but um, I follow him. So usually he'll say, okay, there's a new toolbox out and I'll update it. But let's go ahead and hit update for yes. See if it'll let it download. Give it a sec. So he's connecting to the um, FTP, whatever server he's using, downloaded it, and then that's it. So now let's go ahead and type in SU, which I think I'm already in SU. Um, Apex Toolbox. And look, version six is out. So you can see it says Wi-Fi suggested when you're doing downloads. And you know you want to check it every once in a while, but I really like if you're really going to run this ROM, I really, really, really um, uh, urge you guys to use Twitter as far as like an RSS feed to, to to see what he's saying and see what's going on and whatnot. Um, other than that, it's kind of the same um, as far as uh, speed and well, it's, it's faster, but I mean it's the same as one one three zero. Um, real fast, real fluid, um, makes my Droid X run a lot better than it did before. Um, and that's probably it. If you guys have any questions or uh, comments that you want to add to the review, just leave them at the bottom. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later. This is Mr. Capcom for Tech Messenger.